Hi, hey Russ here. Welcome back to the shop. Uh, today I want to give you a quick tip. It's an OTB thinker moment, uh, but it's about drilling holes with your Forstner bit. Especially when the bigger the Forstner bit gets, well, even the small ones, but the bigger they get, the harder it really gets to really drill down, especially into hardwoods, uh, whether you're drilling all the way through or you're just drilling it out to have a flat bottom hole. Um, drilling with a Forstner bit through hardwood especially is just no fun. Plus, your bit will really get hot because you're working on it for so long and wiggling and wallowing and just pushing hard. Um, it really can be a problem. Now, if you do this in a drill press, all bets are off. But I'm talking about doing it with the hand drill when you have to drill these holes for whatever reasons. Maybe you don't have a drill press and maybe you can't take this to the drill press whatever it is you're drilling so you got to drill it right where it is instead yes so that's what we're going to do and we're going to do it easily so we're going to drill an inch and a half hole an inch and a half deep and it won't be any big deal at all so how do i do it first thing i do is i take my forstner bit and i lube it up with some kind of this i use wd-40 and i don't own the company or anything i just what i happen to have bought and it works it's a silicone based spray and i spray my bit on the outside circumference on both faces or on the outside and then i let that dry once it's dry that gives you a nice silicone coating and that bit will run a lot cooler once you do that so do that just before you're going to use your bit so now we're going to drill that hole so we drill it down about the depth of the force in a bit so that the top of it is just about level uh you don't have to go quite that deep just enough that you want to be able to determine enough shoulder that when you put this back in the hole it'll be able to continue to follow that hole because you won't have the center point when you get ready to come back and do the rest of it it'll have to depend on that outside wall to continue to follow so make sure you get it deep enough that it's going to be able to can do that so you drill it down a little bit to begin with here then you take out a paddle bit as big as you can get that will fit at least an uh, eighth of an inch less or a quarter of an inch less than the forstner bit you're using so here i have an inch and a half bit i'm using an inch and a quarter paddle bit <clears throat> and what that's going to do is that's going to hollow out that's going to take all that center wood out of there and so when I come back and use that, it's only going to be cutting the outside quarter inch all the way down until it cleans it out. And that's why it does it so much easier. So this is going to do most of the hogging out. And paddle bits, that's what they do. So we're going to drill it down with this. And then we'll come back and finish the hole off with this. And that's how you do it. It's quick and easy and there's no stress on your uh, forcing a bit and it doesn't get hot at all and that's the key to making that thing last so if you lube it up do a little bit here do the rest with that one come back and finish it off with that and you're done so let's drill one hole and you'll see how easy it is for me to go down in here and I'm gonna go about an inch inch and a half deep to do this so and you see how easy this goes so first thing you do take your forcing a bit And I drilled down just about to the full width depth. Now I take this, put that in the hole, make sure that I'm at exactly 90 degrees over my work, and I drill down. And now I have a stepped hole in there. So now I can go back to my regular bit and I can either have this one taped off and measured or I can just feel it. I'll feel it when I hit bottom, really. And now I just drill it out. Just like that. And I'm done. I have a perfect bottom. No hard work. Easy to do. And my bit is just barely any warm to it. So that is how you protect your bits and make sure that they do the job and they stay sharp for the next time. So I hope this helped. If you have any questions about how I did this or why, 
leave them in the uh, comments. Uh, keep in mind that the bigger the bit goes, probably inch and a quarter, inch and a half is as big a paddle bit as you could, I can find. So even if you're doing a two and a half inch hole, an inch and a quarter makes a big difference when you go back to finish it with that portion of bit. You still want to clean out as big a hole as you can in the center. That's the idea. So keep that in mind. Uh, anyway, I hope this helped. Leave comments. Don't forget to like it. But uh, most importantly, please come back again because we're nowhere near done. Thanks. We'll see you again soon.